The World AIDS Museum and Educational Center, located at 1201 NE 26th Street in Wilton Manors, Florida, opened on May 15, 2014. The AIDS Museum and Educational Center began as a HIV support group, Positive Attitudes, too, at the Pride Center in Fort Lauderdale. The facilitator of that group was Steve Stagan and it was his idea to create an AIDS museum, in South Florida because Broward County and Miami-Dade County are the epicenter of the AIDS crisis in America. A non-profit corporation was set up and fundraising began. After various local exhibits in churches and the Pride Center, once they had enough funding they choose the location on 26th Street. On November 7, 2013, Magic Johnson visited the World AIDS Museum and dedicated the space, 22 years to the day he announced his HIV status. Doors officially opened to the public in May 2014. The World AIDS Museum and Educational Center has a main gallery featuring the historical timeline of the AIDS epidemic, two art galleries, and a research library. They also do traveling exhibits and educational programs in the schools. The current executive director is Riquel Lopez. Author and AIDS activist Larry Kramer, who spoke there on March 9, 2017, remarked, What an amazing and outstanding place this is. Now they have funding from the state, and can host groups of students. The exhibition, Beautifully Installed, has, among much else a GMHC gay men's health crisis room, an ACT UP room, and a Keith Haring room. The history of HIV, AIDS timeline is extensive, I learned a few THNGS myself and was able to point out a few things that needed correction. The docent is exceptionally knowledgeable. The board members are exceptionally committed. They take pride in claiming that Fort Lauderdale is now the largest gay community in the country. This museum certainly beats anything in San Francisco or New York. Spread the word that this place exists. Topic. Traveling AIDS Museum project based in Newark, New Jersey The AIDS Museum is a non-profit organization based in Newark, New Jersey with a collection of art related to AIDS and art by artists living with HIV. It was founded in December 2004. Among the museum's traveling exhibits have been An exhibit of art by HIV-positive artists titled, Eyes of Mercy was held from November 11 through December 1, 2006 at Seton Hall University in South Orange, NJ. The museum also co-organized an exhibit titled, Edge of Light, Art in the Age of AIDS, at the Paul Robeson Center Gallery at Rutgers Newark, which ran from July 2007 until December 2007. The World Culture Open Gallery New York, was the site of a collaborative project called Positive Still, Artists Respond to AIDS", featuring, among other artwork, five pieces from the AIDS Museum's permanent collection. The AIDS Museum relies on volunteers and has no permanent location. Its website lists no activities since 2011, although it still 2017 has an active phone number and the website. There is an AIDS Museum in Thailand and another being developed in South Africa.